From the Night Shift Crew Studios in the D.C. metro area, this is The Statement Show. I am your host, Terry James, along with my co-host, Zach Chahi. We're covering sports, technology, entertainment, news, and everything in between. The lights are on. It's Monday, September 3rd. Welcome back to another episode of The Statement Show. I'm Terry James. I'm Zach Shahey. Hey, Zach, since it's Labor Day, we all know what we do on Labor Day. Sit around, eat with the family. We could not think of anyone better to have on our show other than my man Damon Patterson, better known as Dame Drops. Yeah, he's on YouTube if anybody hasn't heard of him by now. He's huge. He's got over 3,769,000 views on on YouTube and over 50,000 subscribers. Yeah, I mean, you know, we, we've talked about this before on another show, but you, see, you and I have said around. We've watched this guy. This guy is amazing. He is hilarious. I, Absolutely. I, can't, I, I can't wait. Man. He's, 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 he's good stuff. With all the food reviews, though, I'm going to definitely be asking him all kinds of questions about uh, where, where he came up, what ideas he comes up with, and how he, he gets his ideas of what he wants to do as far as what food reviews he's been thinking about. Right. He's got new ones that come up all the time, and now with all this newfound fame, he's he's definitely got, from what I've seen on Twitter, people getting a hold of him and contacting him for all kinds of interviews and, and like uh, TV shows. So I'm kind of interested to see where he's where he's going to go from here. And right, I, right. My my own self, I kind of envision this. I envision him almost going like you know the Food Network and having his own show eventually. I mean, if he can pull that off, that'd be fantastic. Man, if you've seen some of those shows on Food Network, you're asking how they got on there. So I know, I. Know no, he can get on there and do something better than what they're doing. Oh, sure. you got man versus food. So I'd love to see him do something along that range and go out and hit all the fast food places and just kind of do his thing but on TV. Right. And then see if he could like do spots on YouTube as well, keep going with what he's doing. So kind of do like a cross-platform. That'd be really cool. Yeah, that would be amazing. Anyway, we're getting ready to do our spot with Dame Drop. So here it is. All right. We have Damon Patterson, better known as Dame Drops, on the show with us. Good morning, Damon. Good morning. Good morning. What's going on, gentlemen? Not a whole lot, man. Hey, thanks for joining us on this Labor Day. I know you've got uh, a lot of things happening today, and we greatly appreciate you showing some love to the show, man. Well, I appreciate the fact the statement show even reached out to me. So, you know, it's a great feeling. So, you know, you guys definitely showed me the love. It's your boy Dame Drops representing the statement show, giving the love back. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thanks, man. We see you got an autograph signing coming up today at 12 o'clock. Dude, I've been down here trying to figure out where to where to this autograph signing. Finally figured it all out. I'm going to actually go a step further. I'm running off the casual mail. I'm going to grab myself a white T-shirt. That way, while I'm signing autographs on ghetto grocery bags of five guys, a <laughs> fan, they could actually go ahead and sign that T-shirt for me. I'm going to use it in my next food review. Nice. <laughs> you know what? Let me ask you this. Was five guys the one that actually just blew it up for you? I mean, I have been watching your food reviews. One day, uh, we were sitting around, had a couple of guys that we were sitting around talking with, and, and I actually found your reviews by accident. You know, I was checking out YouTube, doing some things, and you were over on the side, and it was the five guys. But then I kind of went back and called a couple of the other, a uh, couple of your other reviews, and was laughing my behind off. But was it was it five <laughs> guys that really kind of threw you over the top? I'm, I'm gonna definitely say it was, mainly because you know when you go to sleep one night, you're only looking at about 2,300 subscribers. 230,000 channel views, and the following morning you wake up and your 2,300 jumps close to about 5,000, your 230,000 jumps close to about 400,000, you're trying to figure out what happened. So, you know, I'm tracing back, and I noticed one particular review, which happened to be the Five Guys Burger and Fry review, that was the one that took a spike, because that particular night, it only had 16,000 views. By that morning, I'm closing in on like 47,000. So then I had to figure out where that review went. You know, what website did it hit? that it just kind of blew up that way for me. So I found out by a particular user who had actually Facebook messaged me. He's like, you know, I took your review. I believe you need more exposure than what you had. I put it up on Reddit. From Reddit, it just multiplied. It just went crazy on Reddit.com. I didn't even know about Reddit. I saw this user reaching out to me. I had no idea. And that's what actually took that review by Tuesday night. It was close to 270,000 views off of Reddit alone before anything else. And I guess at that point, that's when the Gregory Brothers had caught wind of it. They decided to put their magic touch into it. And once it became auto-tuned, oh. everybody and their mama had a piece of dang drops. And it was a beautiful <laughs> thing. It's incredible. Your personality is, is unbelievable. And I definitely see, uh, 
with how you're you're popping on YouTube right now, and I see all the people who want to invite you on TV too. Uh, I've seen a couple people ask you; they'd love to get you on the TV. I could see you going Food Network and having your own TV show, like Man versus Food kind of deal. You know, I, I really could see you going that way. So you definitely have that TV personality going for you. I definitely appreciate it, man. I mean, the great thing you're right. You know, the network they've definitely been reaching out to me. Everybody's been laying down what they feel would be a good fit for me. And I've been, like, reaching back and just saying, hey, listen, this is what I want to do. I mean, reality is it was the fast food that brought me to this place right now. Between that and the users just sharing and showing the love. But then I was like, hey, listen, man, I got a lot of kids that are actually responding to this. So now I'm thinking twice about the direction in which I really wanted to go. And not only for the kids, I have two myself. And just for my own health, I want to do healthier food reviews. So that's what the direction I started going in. I actually uh, did my last food review, ended up being at Quiznos, and, you know, they had this little honey bourbon chicken that they gave me in this little small, tight, handheld wrap. I have to call it handheld because it disappeared in my hand. Can you dig it? So uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting here like, this is healthy, Ian. Maybe it's small. Maybe it's nothing that I'm actually used to. But end result, it's going to get me right with life. And then for all those kids that are out there following what it is that I'm doing, I'm making sure that, you know, I'm giving back to them as they're becoming more healthy, as they're becoming aware and conscious of what's going on in their own lives. That sounds great. So whatever network wants to pick me up, that's what I plan to do. It has to be healthy, baby, or I can't do it. So have we, are we under the assumption that Dame Drops will no longer do the quote unquote bad food reviews? Or, I mean, when you slip, <laughs> when, when you slip, if, if you slip, let me put it to you like that. If, if, if Dame Drops decides to slip one day, maybe a day or two here or there, what, 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 what are we gonna, what are we gonna be looking forward to? Dig it, this is how it's gonna happen, right? I am never going to stop doing what I love. And what I love, I mean, let, let's be honest, is a mean double cheeseburger, okay, with some, <laughs> oh, some sure. tight bacon. I will never stop doing what I love. But what I'm going to do is do a strong focus on health food, and then what I want to have is my one day off, my one day off a week where I'm able to do whatever I want to do. So if that's me jumping in a whole entire swimming pool of pure ice cream with chocolate sprinkles dipped all over me, baby, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Uh -huh. That one-off day is going to be a fast food day, and I'm going to do what the people need for me to do. You're well known for the fast food reviews and doing the bad food. I love I love the one you did with the uh, Burger King Sunday with bacon. That was oh. that was amazing. Where you had the phone on nine one one. That that was that was great. You, you've got a de you got definite knack for uh, for comedy. You really do come off well. So, but the whole bacon Sunday, I haven't even tried it yet, and now I'm interested in, in, in trying it. So you really make it look good. So uh, you really have to be helping these restaurants out. Have any of the actual uh, fast food chains reached out to you at all? You know what? Let me tell the state this show right now. What was today's date? It's today September third. Yeah, I believe it is. September 3rd, 2012. As of yet, they have not reached out to the kids. Everybody else reached out to me. Everybody else showed the love. But did I receive anything from Burger King? No. McDonald's? No. Wendy's Subway? Negative. <laughs> Negative. So, you know, I'm sure all in due time when they, when they get it together and decide, hey, listen, you know, Dane Drops is someone we need to talk to about a few things. But, uh, right now, it's just me and, and the regular network saying, hey, let's just go ahead and make a food show happen around you. Or maybe there's something else out there that we can get you to try to do. But whatever the case may be, I'm all for it. Oh, well, I, I definitely, I, I can see the next commercial already. See, we're in the Washington, D.C. metro area. We have RG3 uh, subway commercials going on out here. So I would love to see Dame Drops on subway commercial uh, competing against uh, RG3. That would be really cool. I'd love to see <laughs> commercials. That Just a little off topic here. Who, uh, who are you going for NFL-wise? Here's the crazy part. You ready for this one? And no one ever believes me when they actually physically see me. You know, I don't watch sports. Man. I don't oh, watch really? sports at all. No, not not at all. Not well, at then all. you probably have more in common with me because I'm a tech. I'm a tech guy. James is a sports guy. I know very little bit about sports, and I have no problem telling people that. I am, but I did notice in one of re in one of your re uh, reviews, you were talking a little bit about gaming, though. Ooh, ooh now, now you're talking my level right now, baby. <laughs> I'm a PS3 I'm all man. About gaming. I am all about gaming. Every time a new Call of Duty drops, I'm all over it. I'm the individual who's standing outside for the midnight release. I'm in line with two, three, four hundred other individuals. We have our lawn chairs out. Our wives and girlfriends are bringing us McDonald's that stays open late. And we're all sitting there having a good time. Nobody knows one another except the friends who come in groups. But by the time everybody leaves that midnight release, we're all on each other's friends list. So, I mean, it's great gathering. I have a great time. And I'm looking forward to the new release of Black Ops 2 in November, definitely. I'm a Battlefield 3 uh, player myself. Okay, okay. 
<laughs> so are you Xbox or PS3? I was both systems for a while. And I remember when the PS Vita came out, I actually traded in my Xbox. Don't ask me why. <laughs> I traded in my Xbox a few old, old, old games that I had. And by the time it was all said and done, I ended up walking out with that PS Vita for free. Oh, wow. So now I have a PS Vita and my PlayStation 3, but I will be picking up another Xbox because a lot of, you know, the fan members out there, they definitely have the Xbox 360. They're like, Dane, stop playing with my emotions. Get yourself focused. Get back on the Xbox. So that's what I'm doing. Oh, there you go. So, so now you now you've hit this kind of this uh this superstar modem now, and you uh you know you live in Connecticut, is that right? Correct, correct. Can you even go around in your hometown without being recognized at this point, or even points beyond? Have you have you hit that level where it's like, oh my goodness, there's Dame drops? Listen, I was trying to lay low for as long as possible. I was like, ah, right, maybe I can walk into the store, I'll be good to go. And so far, I can go inside my local style and shop. You know, I get a few looks, but then people just kind of keep going. Here's the craziest thing. I'm a buyer for CarMax. I work out of the East Haven and Hartford location. Right. So now when the customers come in, I'm the individual who, who appraises their vehicles and then puts money on their vehicle. My customers are starting to recognize me. These okay. individuals that come in right before I take the key, they stop me and they're like, hey, aren't you that YouTube celebrity guy that does all the food? And then they start breaking up my video. So it, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's starting to take off in a different direction for me. Do you have that same kind of enthusiasm at CarMax, or do you have to kind of tone it down? I mean, are you in there like, oh, my damn. I mean, are you doing that, or is it like, <laughs> are you really Here's, here's the crazy it? thing. The, the management team, they, they know how I am. I've always been this way. It's crazy. It's like, you know, you can see me on the, on the reviews and then meet me in person, and it's not like you'll see two different days. I'm the exact same way in person as I am on my food reviews. So I'm always cracking jokes with the customers. I'm always cracking jokes with my friends. Individuals who come up to me for autograph, cracking the same joke. Like, this is just my personality, you know? You right, gotta enjoy right. life. You gotta have fun with life. You gotta be able to give off that positive energy and then keep those that are positive around you. And then, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's a great thing. It's a beautiful thing at the end of the day. I think that's why you have taken off so well on YouTube because when somebody's trying and they beef up their personality a little bit for something they're doing, it, it shows sometimes. You come mm-hmm. off very sincere. Uh, that enthusiasm you bring to your reviews, it, everybody loves it because it, no way does it look like you're faking any of it. It just comes off like this is you and you're comfortable with yourself and that's what comes off really great. And that's why people have such a good time watching your videos. I know that's why I do when James introduced me to me. So well, I definitely appreciate that, man. I mean, it's been crazy. You know, whenever I get a minute to actually sit down and, you know, the baby doesn't need me every two seconds, I actually, like, you know, go over the comments that are left behind on some of my older videos and then I see all the video responses. So, you know, I, I watch them and I start approving a few of those as well. And the biggest thing is, I, you know, I always get, hey, Dane, you know, I was having a bad day. I went back and watched one of your videos. It changed my day. It changed my mood. That, to me, is big, you know, because you never think of it in that light when you're actually out there filming something that you love. And me, I love food. So this is my passion. This is my joy. And then to find out that my passion, my joy, brings happiness to somebody else, I'm good for the day. Okay, I'm good exactly. for the day. Whether that's one individual, a thousand individuals, a million individuals, I'm good for the day. I mean, it had to be crazy when you checked your Twitter, your YouTube, whatever the case may be, and you saw that that Jimmy Fallon was tweeting you and Shaq was oh, tweeting you. Oh, man. And, and, like, the Today yeah. Show threw you up. on. Like, I came home, right? Check this out. I came uh-huh. home, and I, I told my wife, I said, there is this guy. You need to watch this video, okay? She had already knew about you from the Today Show. Like I'm oh, thinking wow. that I'm thinking that I'm a pioneer, you know. I'm thinking I'm walking in the house telling my family, I found this guy. This 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 guy is the 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 craziest. <laughs> he is amazing. And she's like, nah, nah, I've already saw him on the Today Show. You know? <laughs> so I mean, that had to be amazing to be getting these tweets and 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 I know because you you're just a regular guy like like Zach yeah. and myself. You, you're everyday people. So I'm sure that you were DVR and you know the Today Show or whatever the case may be just to just to see this. This had to be crazy for you, man. The craziest part about it is the fact that, I mean, a lot of individuals do what hit them the moment they see it or the moment they hear something on the radio that's from themselves. And to me, I don't think it, it has taken effect yet. Like, I got excited when Jimmy Fallon had tweeted it out, and I got excited when Shaq tweeted it out, and when Aziz from Parks and Recreation had tweeted it out. And, and for a moment, I just felt something different, you know, but it didn't, it didn't change anything for me. It's, it's exciting, and the rush is always there. I get, I just get a bigger rush when I'm just around the individuals. They're feeling good. They're feeling positive. You know, that, that energy again is what motivates me. You know, but it's great. It's great to see the shares out there and, and the love and the video responses and the phone calls and 
you know, Twitter, Twitter going crazy out there and Facebook. I had my fan page that just hit 7,000 fan members. I remember before this even blew up, I think I had like 400 people on my fan page. Right. And now like two and a half weeks later, we're, we're going over 7,000. You know, I, I just hit 50,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel. You know, so I mean, this is, it, it's big. It's definitely a whole lot bigger than I am. And I'm just grateful and thankful for everything. I mean, you're close to 4 million video views, over 50,000 subscribers. Yeah. That's amazing. I mean, just looking at that, those numbers, it's great. I see you have, uh, you're on iTunes. Uh, is there, a, do you have like a song that you're doing or what's on, is, are the reviews on iTunes? How does that work? Here's the first thing. When the Gregory Brothers had taken and they did the auto tune version of it, they also had placed it up on iTunes as well. Okay. So that, that's the song that's on iTunes and it's called Oh My Damn. You know, and they download that. They can play it in their cars, play it on the, the cell phones, the MP3 players, wherever, wherever they want to go ahead and make that happen. And, uh, you know, like I said, it's just a great feeling, you know, because that's receiving a lot of downloads and the Oh My Damn from the Gregory Brothers on their YouTube channel. I think that, yeah, that's clearly over 5 million already. So, I mean, it's, it's still amazing. You know, I think about it, I'm just like, wow, I don't even know 5 million people. But shoot, let, let, let's keep it honest. I don't even hang out with a 1,000. <laughs> okay, so when those numbers go crazy like that, I mean, and that's like just worldwide because I'm, I'm receiving the love from Germany, I'm receiving the love from Israel, from Spain, from Brazil. You know, I'm I'm, I'm just in awe. You know, so it's exactly. a great feeling. Exactly. So you know, when 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 we do watch the Travel Channel or 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 whatever, like Zach and I were talking about, you know, you you have a lot of hosts that that kind of go in and they 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 do a good job but the thing is kind of what made you fresh was and 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 again this was what Zach was telling me was the fact that you do it out of your car what what sparked yeah. you to do that out of your car <laughs> what 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 kind of, I mean you know like like how did you just decide hey I'm I'm going to throw a camera up here and I'm going to do it right out of my car and and what makes it even funnier normally you got the you know you got the restaurant either in the back in the background or right beside <laughs> you. That's that's what makes everything so fresh and, and hilarious. What made you decide to go that direction? And we're assuming you're doing this on your phone, right? Yeah. The, the crazy thing is, you ready for this? How often, all right, and when you actually do get a chance to, you know, do your fast food, how often, if not inside of the location, if not inside of Burger King, if not inside of a McDonald's, do you find yourself actually just eating the food in the car with your windows down, listening to music? Right. There's a lot of individuals that literally do this all right the in the parking lot. You know, and I was just like, okay, something new comes out. I got my camera right here. Let, let me not let it collect dust. I'll put some decent money into it. Let me go ahead and post this up and then start just reviewing the new foods. If I see something pop up on a commercial, I'm going to shoot to that location. I'm going to shoot it from my car with the same individuals who are sitting in the car already if they're not inside the location. And, I mean, from me doing that, and that's what everybody know me for, it just got to the point where comments were like, dude, do you have a house? Because you are forever in your vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> But my reality is that's what we do. You know, we we have to drive through. We have to drive through the window. We, we put our order in. We receive our order. And then we end up pulling off into a parking spot, rolling the windows down. We're listening to our music, and we're tearing that food down. So that's the reality. That's why I shoot my videos that way. Oh, that's pretty good. I really like how they come out really clear. Uh, are you an iPhone or an Android user? I'm actually Android. I had an iPhone for a while uh, when I was actually with, you know, AT&T and all that good stuff. And then... The HTC Evo 4G had came out at the time. I ended up picking that up. More than likely, I'll be going back over to iPhone when iPhone 5 releases. So, but yeah, right now I'm, I'm the Android man. <laughs> oh, and me too. I'm a, I have a Galaxy Nexus myself. Oh, and, it's, and speaking of Android, of course, since we're on that that uh, topic, let's not forget I do have my free app, Dame Drops, on the Android market. Here's the craziest thing: I try to take everything that I do. I have my www.asdame.com, which is a relationship-based blog. So I have that. I'm the uh, the app. All my videos that I do for the gaming channel are on the app. All my food reviews are on the app. And then, of course, the fan page. I try to link everything into one location. And, of course, it's free. Oh, wow. This is amazing. I'm looking at it right now. I just brought it up. Hey, there it is. See? Pow. Wow. Just like that. And then for, for those that are on iPhone, they're like, well, how come it's not on the Apple market? Don't worry, baby, because I got you, too. You know, all you got to do is pretty much just, uh, it's dame.mobapp.at. So, dame. M-O-B-A-P-P dot A-T. And, of course, they'll be able to put it directly on their home screens from their iPhones as well. I got everybody covered. Covered like a blanket. We're good to go. Yeah, that's great. I mean, because my biggest complaint is usually when you when there's a cool app out there, you can't get it for the Android or you can't get it for the iPhone. My wife has a my wife has an ordering app for Chipotle, 
on her iPhone, but guess what? I can't yeah. do it on my phone. It's uh, it's yeah. very frustrating. Yeah, that, there's no love there. It has to be for both. We got to make sure that we take care of Android and the app market as well. So they got to make some changes. <laughs> we gonna start seeing you do. I'm sorry. You're, you're gonna start. We, you're gonna start seeing you do some uh, reviews on like when you pull up to the to the drive through or <laughs> like how the service is. Because I see you're gonna be doing restaurants. I'd really like to see that aspect. See you do uh, how good the the service is as well as the food itself. Well, you know what? I can promise you guys this much. I'm promising the statement show right now. Now, I'm leaving for Utah. Um, actually, September 21st and 22nd, I'm going to be in Provo, Utah. Sammy actually reached out to me. He has a spot out there called Sammy's. They specialize in uh, the pie shake. All right? So I'm going to be going out there. I'm going to try his food. Of course, I'm bringing the camera equipment with me. I'm going to create my own show. They one of the first restaurants to reach out to me. I'm going to make a whole entire show around it, and that's what's going to go up on YouTube. Oh, yeah. You're going to see it all. You're going to see it all from me walking in the door to me making my order to talking to management, talking to the people, and making it happen. Oh, wow. Very Sounds nice. great. Very nice. Recently, I was watching one of your videos, and I saw that you had said something about at the beginning of the year, you were going to be starting a new project. Uh, for up and coming people to k- kind of give back to YouTube and, and all that mm-hmm. kind of good stuff. Can you, uh, can you get into that a little bit more? Oh, definitely, definitely. I created, uh, well, I might as well call it my, my third channel, <laughs> but it's really my second channel on YouTube. It's called Dame Drops Untapped. And here's the crazy thing about this channel. Starting January 1st, 2013, I'm going to have, uh, probably maybe two or three videos a month I'm going to showcase of individuals who were or currently are exactly where I was. Because I remember the low views, you know, the minimal hits, minimal shares, and it's like you put your all into a project. You put your all into whatever it is that you do to showcase on YouTube, and you might receive like 63 views, 33 right. views. You might find yourself only 80 subscribers. So what I'm going to do have created this, this little format now where they can submit their videos over to me, I'm going to showcase them. Because now I have more individuals looking at what it is that I'm doing. So hopefully through that, through through me, these individuals can receive the recognition that they truly deserve and should have received a long time ago. And I'm, I'm going to do that for everybody with the low views that submit this stuff over to me for Dane Drops Untapped. Really helping out everybody who's trying to get started here. And that's that's really admirable. I like that. What other what other reviews you got coming up? Anything you want to share with us that you've been thinking about? And how do you kind of come up with what you're what you're gonna do? Do you just kind of do it on the spur, or do you kind of plan ahead? All right. Well, definitely uh, directly after my signing today, I'm going to head up to Manchester, Connecticut. I'm going to Chipotle. <laughs> that was something that everybody requested for me to do on the fan page and and also on my YouTube comments. So I'm gonna go out there. Everybody wants me to grab up the burrito and get their chips and the guacamole sauce and, and whatever else, little bits of chicken, fried chicken, you know, some collard greens. I don't know. Whatever they have, I'm going to go ahead and make that happen. So I'm going to create the little burrito bowl. I'm going to do that review today, and like I said, I'm going to have the shirt on that everybody's going to sign today when I go to Five Guys. So, but as far as how do I choose, the, the people choose the spot for me. I okay. mean, in the beginning, it was just me like, okay, let me watch TV, see what's new out, and then go up over there. But on my fan page, what I do, I usually put up like three different locations and I have like a little voting poll. And people pretty much vote on the next location for me to go to and then they pretty much will let me know what they want me to try for the next food review. So that's usually how, how it happens. That's how the magic happens for me. Hey, Dame, we, we greatly appreciate you being on the show, man. I know you're extremely busy. It's Labor Day. You want to hang with your family. I get it. Good luck with everything. You have been amazing. We love watching your videos by far one of the most funny people I've ever seen on YouTube. Keep it going, man. I, I greatly appreciate everything you're doing. Yeah, we'd love to yeah, get I you back on the show. I appreciate both you guys. You know, I mean, I, before all this, I didn't hear a whole lot about anything that's happening out there in the network world and a lot of different podcasts, but I definitely appreciate the Statement Show reaching out to me. You know, it's your main man, Dan Drops. I'm here for the Statement Show. The Statement Show's here for me, and I wish you guys the best going forward in the future and all your success. And, uh, you know, stick with me, man, because we're going to keep updating together, baby. Thanks, man. Have a great Labor Day. You as well. Talk with you later, man. All right. Take care. So that was Dame Drops. Man, the guy is very enthusiastic. You heard it. He's got a fan page with over 50,000 subscribers, over almost 4 million hits on YouTube. Uh, it's just incredible. He's kind of an overnight sensation. Uh, I don't know if overnight's the best way to say it. What do you think, James? Well, I, yeah, <laughs> I, I mean, I don't know about overnight, but let me tell you something. You know, from the minute I spoke with him, even even before the interview, 
he he was always right back with me, always answered everything immediately. I cannot honestly tell you how appreciative that I mean, not, not, I'm, I'm obviously speaking for the both of us, but I know for myself because I, I did a lot of the conversations back and forth with him. This guy is amazing. Um, and just like you said in the interview, I, he comes off as very original and very genuine um, yeah very genuine and and what what you see is what you get with the with, with uh with a uh, dame and I, i'm so glad that we had him on as a guest he's an amazing guy and take it from me zach shay on the statement show you're gonna see this man on tv on no the doubt. food network doing restaurants hey dame i hope you do red robin when you get a chance and <laughs> I, I definitely i'm gonna see he talked about doing chipotle i definitely want to see uh this review because me and my wife are big chipotle eaters Hey, definitely try those, um, the, uh, the peppers. I do the peppers and the chicken and the rice. So we'll see what he gets. He's probably going to get a big ass burrito though. So, but this guy, he's fantastic. He's, he's amazing. He, he comes off genuine. And I think that's why people are supporting him because he comes off great. And he's kind of parlaying his success into helping other people, which I think is admirable. Very nice of the guy. I mean, he's trying to pass on. And like you said, he's, he's passing on the love to everybody else. So. Yeah, this I guy think is fantastic. A, a lot of the times people get so big that they they forget, and he's kind of come to that level where you know, although although he's getting bigger, he hasn't hit super super stardom, but oh, sure. he's all he's already putting that that love out there for everyone, and and that is highly unusual and shows you what kind of classy individual we're talking about here. This. Uh, I, I wish that man nothing but success. Exactly. He's got his new project starting in January 2013 where he's going to be – other projects of other people can bring on their talent and he can kind of showcase it for them. He kind of explained a little bit on the on the interview spot. You come to our website at www.thestatementshow.com on our links section and you can go to his YouTube channel to check out his reviews. Man, is is extremely funny. does a great job with the reviews. He's very genuine. Tells you everything about the food. You couldn't you couldn't want for any more information about a hamburger. I mean, I know more about a hamburger watching these reviews than anything else. So, because <laughs> right. he says everything that that we're thinking, you know, like when the cheese is sticking to the to the aluminum foil or whatever, you oh, know, sure. you're thinking that same thing. <laughs> or like when he's got that little burger in his hand, he's like, look at this little ass burger, you know, you or the you're brown around... bag from the Five Guys <laughs> Burger, you know, it's right, like, right. You know, it's like that porn burger hidden away in the brown bag. So. <laughs> I mean, he brings such enthusiasm to it, and I love it. Everybody, go to his website, subscribe to his show, uh, check out his reviews. You're going to love his show. It's fantastic. And then come to our website and help us out a little bit. Go to our Amazon link, hit one of our affiliates, and help keep our show going. And we're going to add – we have his link on our show. Check out his YouTube channel, Terry James's book, The Ultimate Guide to, to Winning Your Fantasy Football. Anything how, – how's that selling there? It's actually going uh, really well, Zach. We're uh, I'm looking to try to get another one out for uh, next year for the next fantasy football season, but uh, you know, kind of a kind of Is a it playoff, more like an updated version. Yeah, a little bit more of a uh, of an updated version. I mean, don't don't get me wrong, this one's pretty update. Uh, I mean, excuse me, uh, pretty updated, but uh, kind of in in the meantime, since I wrote the the first one, kind of got some more ideas for a second one. So yeah, yeah, I'll be looking forward to a second one. Hell, I may even branch out to children's books or or whatever i don't even know what i'm gonna do at this point zach hey whatever you do it's gonna be great it's selling great so go Thanks. ahead to amazon click on our website at the statement show.com click on the ultimate fantasy guide terry's got great tips there to help anybody get started doesn't know anything about it and even if you are an avid player see what you might be doing wrong and check out what terry's tips are where well, it's time to turn the lights out on another episode of the statement show we'll see you next week you know what's your name man dan drop i'm here for the statement show the statement show's here for me Dude, it was amazing. Yeah, it was. Thanks for joining us at The Statement Show. If you like the show, go to our website at thestatementshow.com and click on one of our affiliates. Subscribe to our show at iTunes and Stitcher Radio. Also, check us out on Facebook and YouTube and at Twitter at Statement Show. For comments or concerns or to be a guest on The Statement Show, email us at thestatementshow at gmail.com. 